Jace, that game on Saturday evening at the Santa Claus is going to be epic. I don't know how much time you have to follow Scotland during this World Cup at the moment, Laura, but it's... It's, you know, it's a, they had a great win yesterday, but it can mm. be a fairly kind of tense experience. Mm. It's always a tense experience yeah. for well, Scotland, for sure, but you've been out there, haven't you? Yeah, it's great it's um, amazing. Look, we've, we've mm. been, yeah, uh, Doddy and Ali have been, uh, sorry, Kenny and Ali have been replaced by Laura. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I need to probably introduce you. Just the on the sofa. Uh, the reason you're here, Laura, yeah. is because Rishi Sunak's in heading to Manchester for the mm. Conservative Conference. Yeah. You're going to be doing your programme from, from Media City today. Um, lots of attention on him, mm. first party conference as prime minister, mm -hmm. as party leader. Yep. Uh, lots of, what, what do you think of the key issues that he's going to face? I think the big thing actually is that he's trying to do this rebrand, right? We're all meant to be seeing Rishi 2.0. You know, he's talking about motorists, he's slowed down on green targets, he's trying to sort of chuck bits of red meat, you know, to the Tory faithful mm -hmm. and trying to shake up his image of his first year in office as, you know, Mr. Safe Pair of Hands, I'm calming everything down after all the pandemonium. Mm. Of course, though, when politicians take a risk like that, a rebrand is risky. Of course, it's upsetting some people on the other side. Risky, so I risky. think risky Rishi, the question is sort of who, you know, in a way, will the real Rishi Sunak stand up? So it's mm. going to be really interesting to see how he plays it this morning because I think he's probably going to have a bumpy few days. Yeah, a bumpy few days internally, but all, the messaging is always directed, isn't it, to, to the nation as a whole. Yeah. Um, and the key messages that he wants to land... I suppose, are very much directed to those areas where he thinks that he can still get enough votes, which is why he's zoning in on motorists, for example. That's right. Towns today is what we're going to hear That's about. That's right. So if you use the political jargon, I think he's moved to try to speak to what we'd call the base you know, people who are natural Conservative voters, trying to shore them up, trying to give them something to be enthusiastic about, mm. whether that is driving, whether it's talking about potholes, whether it is saying, oh, don't worry about increased costs to deal with the environment, I'm going to slow some of that down and take that away from you. The big thing is, though, for any political strategist, you can't win elections just based on your faithful, right? You have to be able to reach out. But Rishi Sunak has been stuck behind in the polls for months and months and months. And that's why we're seeing this change in tack, because you can't just carry on as you are. If it's looking grim, you've got to change something up. The hard thing, though, in the really big picture, is that the Tories have been in charge for so long. If he's trying to sort of say the status quo isn't good enough, we all want change. He made the status Who's quo. Who's been in charge of the status quo? Mm -hmm. That's the obvious criticism for the Labour Party. Say, well, you complain about it, you made it. So it's going to be really challenging for him. And he's he... sort of superpowers if he's going to turn it round. And, of course, he heads to Manchester. All the speculation a week ago was that HS2 was within days of being canned, mm. the route from Birmingham to Manchester, and now, oh, no, we haven't made a decision because the optics of cancelling it as you arrive in the city. Yeah, well, talk about good. awkward, right? Yeah. <laughs> so there are lots of questions swirling around. There are lots of questions. And HS2 is not just a will they, won't they in terms of that particular decision. Mm. It's also part of a kind of a risk again that he's taking where he's looking wobbly on something. So businesses, for example, car manufacturers looking at the announcements on net zero, that target moving and thinking, well, hang on a minute, you're asking us to spend billions of pounds in this country, but can we really trust the, when the government makes a decision that they're going to stick to it? So we will, though, for viewers, try to get a final answer on HS2 this morning. Whether we Good actually succeed, <laughs> we'll see at 9 o'clock. So <laughs> you're a couple of floors above us. Yeah, we are. 9 o'clock on BBC One. That's right, yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. And Thank enjoy you, Manchester. Thank you.